Travel, budget, cars. Welcome to the life of PK. Welcome out to the life of PK. I wanted to make a quick impromptu video about this hurricane that's coming up to Florida. Uh, I'm very close to Miami, so it's gonna impact me, of course. So I wanted to show you how I prepare for this and what it's actually looking a couple days before the actual storm hits because it looks like right now they're saying it's gonna be a Cat 3 but I think it might be a Cat 4. The reason why I think it's a Cat 4 is because it's sitting over like warm water right now that's about 88 Fahrenheit degrees and it's gonna go crazy. So I think there's gonna be a really bad hurricane hitting so I wanna show you guys what I'm doing to prepare for this disaster. It's gonna be my first event. So hopefully the power doesn't turn off because that would be terrible. But let me show you what I've done so far. And before I show you this, I wanna show you how nice it looks outside right now. It's kinda of like the calm before the storm. There's little P, he's just chilling over here, but let me take you outside. So you guys can see, it looks super nice outside. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous Saturday morning with little P just enjoying the sun. It's very nice. You, you can't even tell that there's an actual storm coming. Granted, the storm is going to hit on the west side of Florida, around Naples, I believe. But it just looks, it's a beautiful day. It feels great. It is really warm and humid, which gives hurricanes power. Uh, that's what I mean by it's probably going to get much worse than what they're predicting. One thing is, I posted a quick short. My first short, it was terrible. But I went earlier to the store in, in anticipation of this uh, hurricane. I, I was thinking I'm not going to prepare as much. But I went to the store, it's going wild. There's water shortage. Uh, it's really difficult to find a lot of things. So let me show you what I've done so far. Obviously, I've gotten Dunkin' Donuts, the best thing ever. This is kancha. Uh, one day I'll show you how to make it. It's kind of like corn, but it is very filling. So this can come helpful if you don't have enough food. Uh, I made some more over here. Don't mind the mess, I just made it, so that's why, but there's a lot of it here. First thing and foremost, you have to make sure you have enough water. Obviously for both of us, I had to get enough water. And here you go, don't mind this mess down here, but you can see water. This over here, it's about 70 bottles of water plus another extra 24 pack. I think as long as the power doesn't go out, we are okay with this. I got some perishable. This is just for like my, my daily consumption. Uh, don't mind this. This is not YouTube friendly. <laughs> These are really nice too. They're kind of like a sweet little cookies. They're really cool. I love the bear. We're going to get another one of this. These can be very filling as well. They have high concentrated in sugar and uh, carbs which can be good if you don't have enough food. The snack pantry. Obviously you can see that there's nothing here, but we're getting some stuff for this shelf. But let me show you down here. Uh, we have obviously cereals. These are great non-perishable -per cookies. Uh, they can be used for anything, soups, or just eat them by themselves. If uh, the worst case scenario, some Chex Mix. I've already opened it. And some, uh, some sugary goodies if you ever need them. And then some steaks, some rice. Obviously we can cook the rice. And lastly, let me show you the fridge. Not much action going on here, some, some more beer. Uh, a lot of uh, yogurt, I love plain yogurt. It's very like beneficial too for your body. I like eating it. Red Bull, if needed for, for energy, anything like that. Lots of hot dogs, uh, we love hot dogs. Some cooked salmon, some chicken, eggs. Even though these, if the electricity is out, you can't really make it. But for now, they'll be good enough. I'm thinking we might actually cook this chicken so we can get it like boiled or, or, or baked or anything like that or cooked or like fried anything like that so we can have enough like meat if something happens with the power and we can't use the the actual stove and of course you guys might think i forgot him i did not here he comes i did not forget him he has a big massive bag this bag is probably i don't know four size the dog so he has plenty of food for this hurricane. This is how we're preparing. So far it doesn't seem like a lot if the power goes out, but this afternoon we're gonna go, go out and get some more non-perishable items, like crackers, stuff like that. Stuff that's not gonna perish for a long term if the electricity goes out and doesn't need to be refrigerated. So we're gonna go buy that, maybe buy a couple more fruits like apples and stuff like that because they can last a little bit longer than, uh, than other stuff. Let me know if you guys live in the area in Miami and stuff like that, let me know how you're preparing for this uh, hurricane that's coming up our way. I want to know. I want to know some tips and tricks. I have a battery that I'm actually going to end up charging. It's going to be very helpful because it has lights. It has all sorts of stuff on, on it and we can charge our phones as well if something needs to be charged, which is very beneficial. So I'm going to go ahead and charge this over the next couple of days because the charge on this thing can last a pretty long time as well. So it's going to be very helpful if something happens. Hopefully nothing happens. But again, let me know down below in the comments. What are you guys doing in a, in a category three or four hurricanes? I've never experienced something like that. So I'm excited to be in it. But also I'm kind of worried because anything can happen. And I'm on the seventh floor here. Uh, again, beautiful, beautiful weather. 
but I'm on the seventh floor here, so I don't know if that's bad or good to be on a higher floor. I know obviously you're gonna avoid the flooding if, if it happens uh, because I'm in a floodplain, but with the winds and stuff, I'm pretty sure these windows are gonna hold no problem. But I'm still, I have a, I'm a little bit worried as well, so I'm, I'm curious to see this whole experience is how it's gonna go. Obviously, I'm gonna make a video through the storm, it's gonna be really interesting. So check it out later this week on the channel. Without that being said, these are my preparations for this category three, potentially category four hurricane is gonna hit Florida. Let me know down below what you guys think. Any suggestions will always be appreciated. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash the like button and I'll catch you guys later.